Hey everybody, this is your girl Zenobia from Zenobia of Decor. Today we're going to do a DIY on my office shelf. And I am actually going to remove this old office shelf and replace it with a new one. So let's get ready. And also, um, I have a friend here, Kobe, who will be the project manager of this project. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so I can bring you more videos. All right, let's get started. Zenobia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to um, actually do a DIY and remove one of my shelves out of my office and so I'm going this morning, early this morning, it is now uh, 8.30, um, the store is open at 9, um, on my way to Big Lots to actually look for a shelf because I have not seen anything that I liked online so um with that said uh yeah i'm sorry i look so bad this morning no makeup no nothing um because i needed to get up and get out okay so hopefully i find exactly what i want um and as soon as i come out i let you know what i found okay bye <laughs> everybody this is Zenobia again of course uh yeah so I just left Big Lots and hmm they didn't have anything they had the same thing that I actually saw online um which is surprising because usually when you go into the store they usually have displays and all this other stuff so yeah it caught me off guard but it's okay um, because the uh, customer service representative went to the back and he actually came out with a shelf um, with five shelves and um, it was decorative and I mean I love it the only problem with it is that it's beige so I'm going to go to Walmart and I'm actually going to um buy some spray paint white spray paint and I'm actually gonna spray it so okay so we're gonna continue this DIY and I did find something that's a good thing so um, okay so we're going to um, continue my DIY okay I will see you later at the house
Okay guys, this is the final spray project of the shelf. And as you can see, I have some light spots and dark spots. But that's okay because I actually purchased some contact paper from Amazon. And I think it will look perfect on this. I just needed the white background. Okay, so here is the contact paper that I got from Amazon. And as you can see, it has the marble design and this is the name of the style in the brand okay so first thing we're going to do is actually take the measurements of the shelf we're going to measure it first in width and then in depth now make sure you measure each shelf now we're going to take the measurements and we're going to put it on the back of the contact paper and always measure a little bit over from the actual measurement so that you can have a perfect fit Okay, next we're going to cut out the measurements. And as you can see, I have a little star on the back of the contact paper. I think there was, in fact, I know there was a little imperfection on the paper. So I kind of turned it over, marked it on the back, and actually cut it out. Okay, so after I cut out all of the templates, I actually placed them on the shelves. And as you can see, I took the adhesive off the back of the templates and placed them on each shelf. Well, this is the first shelf, and I'm actually smoothing it out so I can get all the bubbles out of there. Okay, and next there is my project manager again checking up on me. Okay, next we're going to take a row of double-sided tape. They come in small squares like this. And I'm going to actually get some ribbon and put it around the perimeter of the top of the shelf. And I'm going to use one inch diamond bling ribbon. And as you can see in the corner there, there um, the um, contact is rising up. So just get a dab of clear Gorilla Glue and put it on the corners and it should hold it down. And the reason why I use um, double sided tape is to change it out anytime I want to. Perfect. And here is our final results.